It's 2022 and I think it's time for some changes. Ever since I made that desk setup video back in 2021, I've added a few things and got rid of some including one of my laptops. But now I think it's time for a makeover. I need to clean my desk too. It's so dusty. This is literally how I have it before making this video. No cleaning up and making everything pretty for YouTube. This is really how it is. As you can see, I'm currently using the Grovemade Walnut MacBook dock, which means that the MacBook is connected to my external monitor. It's a great setup, but I'm not sure why there are overheating and throttling issues when I'm editing videos. It's also probably not a good idea because this display isn't color accurate either. But that's what I've been doing for a little while now, so I'm going to have to invest in a color accurate external monitor sometime in the future. In the back left, we have my vertical laptop stand for my gaming laptop, but I was thinking of moving it behind the MacBook to keep the laptops together. Sometimes I like to put my iPad Pro on the second slot, but not while I'm using the laptop for gaming because it does get hot. The problem is that the ethernet cord is too short, so I bought this 15 foot ethernet cable from Amazon which should do the trick. I also have my water bottle on a coaster, but that coaster is just in case I have something that condensates like a soda or something. I also have my seed probiotics because if they're not right on my desk, I'll forget to take them. Next thing in the back is my SM7B microphone. I might have to relocate it to the right because I'm planning on moving my laptops to the right as well. I also added a MagSafe charger with the Nomad MagSafe mount stand that's super minimal and will prop my phone up while it's charging. I also have the Scarlett 2i2 next to my laptop and the Cloudlifter CL1 behind. I want to get rid of them from the surface of my desk because there is just a whole bunch of wiring that I don't want showing up. So to fix that, I bought some 3D printed mounting brackets that I'm going to mount under my desk. I'm not sure where to place the mounts and I'm not completely sure how to route the wires yet, but it shouldn't be too hard. Then I have this huge organizer full of hard drives, SSDs, cables, SD card adapters, dongles, and more. Basically everything small I need as a content creator is all bunched up in here sitting in the back of the desk, sort of behind the monitor. I'm not sure if I should keep it there or move it out of sight, but we'll figure that out later. Last but not least is this corner of the desk that has my Orbit Key Nest and these pile of books. I'm currently reading one of them and there are two others in line once I finish. Those might go away too, but we'll see. My goal is to tidy up the desk while making it look cleaner, but maybe add some stuff as well to be more organized. I think the first thing that I want to do is move my gaming laptop over to the left side. So let's do that. My one concern is the limited airflow, so we'll see if anything changes in the future. So both of the laptops are on the left side now. I've tested it for about a day and I've had no overheating or throttling issues which is great. I don't really notice the fans when I'm gaming either. Most of the time I have both of these systems on and the performance seems to be the same. There is a substantial gap in between due to one of the vertical stands being made for two laptops but I'll take it for better airflow. I've decided to put the Scarlett 2i2 and the Cloud WCL1 under the desk near where the laptop is on the surface. Drilling into the desk was fairly simple, and the screws were the perfect length. I could have taken a little bit more time to plan where each component would go, but I'm actually really happy with the outcome. The thing that I would like to have done better though is the cable management. I think that would actually need some time and planning, so maybe I'll do that later on, but not in this video. I was thinking of shifting everything to the left because the laptops take up a good amount of space, but I decided to keep everything central because it looks better that way in my opinion. And I'm glad I did. Everything worked out and the whole setup looks so good. I'm very happy with the outcome. Big shout out to Grovemade for sending over a bunch of their products to upgrade my desk. This video wouldn't have been possible without them. 
Their products are top-notch, super high quality, and sustainable as well. Now that the desk is mostly cleared, I can now add a couple of things. The first is this merino wool felt desk pad. It's a great size for me and I can easily roll it up and put it away if for any reason I would want to. There's more than enough space for my keyboard, mouse, and something like a journal if I wanted to place it on there. Next is the Grove Made Wood Shelf Desk in Walnut. This will give my desk more dimension, a little bit of spice, and more organization opportunities. I love the simplicity and the sustainability of all of their products, and this is no exception. It's made from premium hardwood plywood, aluminum, and natural cork that's hand-stained with Japanese calligraphy ink. It can support monitors up to 50 pounds, which is no problem for my 32-inch monitor if I didn't have it on an arm. You can also get this desk tray separately, which allows for even more organization. I actually don't know what to put in there yet, but it's a nice thing to have. Above that is where I store my iPad Pro 12.9 inch with the Magic Keyboard, and it fits in there perfectly. Then finally, at the very top, that's where I place my task journal and my favorite pen. If you watch my videos, you know that I've upgraded my task journal since then. I'm now using this larger one, and it's been great so far. I've been taking more notes, doing more tasks, and have become overall more productive. On the right side of the wood desk shelf, I have my books. I thought that it would be a nice spot for them since they're easy to reach, so whenever I want to read or take a break, I can do so without leaving my seat. Right next to that, I put my tech organizer. It's sorta out of sight, but it's right there when I need it. I was contemplating on whether if I should completely get rid of it from the desk and put it somewhere else, but I just couldn't do it. I wanted my desk to be as productive as possible, so I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of looks just for that. I left the majority of the right side free, so that if I do need to move my monitor out of the way, for example to journal or sketch, I can do so without any hassle. Then I can move my keyboard and mouse underneath the shelf. I keep that spot free from anything as a dedicated spot for my peripherals. I don't need all that space for my keyboard and mouse, so I do keep my seed probiotics and other loose items like my AirPods Pro towards the left side. Right next to my laptops, I added the Grove Made black pen with their walnut stand plus ink refills to match my new walnut accents that I have. The base is super sturdy, and having a pen on my desk at all times is super convenient because as much as I love my favorite pen, sometimes I forget to bring it out of my bag or even out of my car. So a dedicated pen for your desk is crucial. Right next to that, I have the Grove Made notepad in black. It's super sturdy and actually has a good weight to it. Having a notepad that you can use as scratch paper or to write down your daily tasks for the day is super useful, and with it always being on my desk, it's easy enough to reach or look over to see what I have left to do. It's refillable, comes in the dotted format, and the pages just lift off once you're finished with them. These two cup looking things are pretty empty right now, and I'll probably keep them like that for the time being. But the taller one holds stationery like pens, rulers, and scissors, and the shorter one is actually a wood planter. I still have to get a succulent, but once I do, I'm going to be pretty happy with how it looks. That's pretty much it. Maybe in the next desk update, I'll have lights behind the monitor, a lot better cable management, and more gadgets for productivity. I didn't get to add anything to the wall either. I still really want floating shelves, and my weathering with you poster is getting lonely. But so far, my current setup feels a lot more cleaner, and not as cramped which will boost productivity levels, I hope. The water bottle is a little bit too far away, so most of the time I leave it right next to the base of my microphone arm when I'm not using it. I know, I know, the cable management isn't that good. It's bothering me too, but I'll have to deal with it for now. Especially if you look over to where the laptops are, and in the back right corner of the desk. Underneath too. But in all honesty, it's never going to be perfect just because my setup consists of laptops. There's always going to be some wires poking out somewhere. But I'll try to have the cable management fixed as best as I can in the next update for sure. I also apologize if the production value of this video is not quite up to par with the rest of my videos. I do notice, and I'll do my best to improve next time. 
Once again, big shout out to Grovemade for providing all of this stuff to spice up my desk. I'll try to link as many things as I possibly can in the description. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.